what's going on everybody this is actually going to be my first youtube video so bear with me um be nice but what i wanted to talk about was the towing business um i have been in the towing business since 2007 off and on a couple of different times um got in it at first as a roadside service provider um great side business great side hustle um, doesn't take a whole lot to get started. Um, just felt like I needed to do something. I was turning wrenches as a mechanic and I worked at a car lot. Hated more or less being stuck in the office. Hated being stuck in the shop. I felt like I'm just the type of person that I like to be out and about. And so I decided to, at the time, I had a little Ford Ranger and a little run around truck and i decided that i would you know go ahead and do roadside assistance the simple the lockouts the jump starts tire changes uh, fuel delivery fluid delivery um, and then here and there i would do a little side job you know throw an alternator on do some brakes you know anything i could more or less to make ends meet um, that turned into buying an old repo truck that i used for towing and i Learned a lot of valuable lessons um, <laughs> the hard way. Um, I struggled. I mean, I, I, when I say struggled, I mean struggled. Um, but what I wanted to let this video be is for anybody that is thinking about towing, roadside, I mean, heck, even car hauling. Um, I've done some car transport work. Um, it's a very good business if you do it correctly. And there's plenty of options out there this this video won't be fancy it won't be edited with different links and all kinds of crazy stuff this is just real deal information like if you would have called me on the phone um, the towing business can be a great business um, but it is a 24 7 365 business if you let it um, what I mean by that is there's a lot of people that talk badly about the towing business that it cost them a marriage it, that they missed soccer games with kids or, or something with the with their family your family is the most important thing in your life and your time is the most valuable thing you have in your life do not let a business get in between you and your family that is a hard lesson that a lot of people don't learn when they get started in this business, they think they need to go, go, go and take every single call. And there is some merit to that. You don't want to be lazy, um, but you have to learn what the value of your company is, what the value of your time is. Um, obviously getting started, you might have to do a little bit more work for something that's not necessarily as valuable. But when you get started in towing, I recommend you get started in roadside assistance. It's a lot less overhead. The insurance is cheaper. Um, it's a lot more simple, um, especially, in, and I relate that in the sense of depending on what kind of background you have, if it's automotive related or if you know cars, if you know how to change a tire, if you know how to unlock a car with a lockout kit, jump start a battery. Simple tasks like that can make you good money. You don't have to have a tow truck. You don't have to have a special, you know, any kind of special vehicle to do it but it allows you to get in the market. It allows you to be known. It allows you to, you know, be able to get in front of the customers and start building a reputation. The first thing I tell people when they get in any of this business, um, there's different types of work. Obviously with roadside assistance, you're pretty much gotta go with the motor clubs. Uh, some of the top ones that are the most popular, obviously it's AAA, it's hard to get on with, don't really pay that much. A Jero is probably one of the top. Uh, National Auto Club, Nation Safe Drivers, Geico, um, those are all big ones. Quest is another one. But pretty much the trick, if you want to find out how to join them, you need to go on Google. Simple as that, Google. Look up the service provider paperwork. Any company you want to find out, Google, you know, Geico service provider, you know, application or service provider, anything that will 
more or less pull up the information and you'll get information like what's the insurance requirements, you know, what their criteria is, um, things like that. That's the easiest way just to get the information. There's other, there's two big ones now uh, in the sense of the app based service providers. One is Honk, the other one's Urgently. You'll hear a hundred different opinions what's good what's bad you'll hear uh, oh they they're too cheap or oh they're this or oh they're that you've got to figure out what works for you i know that i made cheap money work for me until i built up a valuable skill set until i built up my reputation my reputation is not, i'm not the cheapest i'm not the most expensive either but when people call me they know they're what kind of service they're going to get and what kind of time frame I usually focus on being to a customer in 30 to 45 minutes. I'm not a volume guy. I don't run 100 calls a day. That's exaggerated. But I mean, I know when in my roadside days, I would run 10 to 12, you know, sometimes 15 calls. Another trick to making money doing roadside is when you get on with the motor clubs, you're going to be at the bottom of the totem pole getting started. Take the out of service calls, take the out of area calls. Those calls will pay you the most because of mileage. Take your mileage. Make your money on your mileage. Don't think that just because the call isn't around the corner that you're going to miss something else. I used to take calls. I'm north of Atlanta. I used to take calls, you know, an hour and a half away. Why? Because I got paid, I believe then it was like $1.25 or $1.75 a mile on a Ford Ranger wasn't bad because it got fairly good gas mileage so I actually made more money on my mileage than I did on the service calls another thing about that when you get started and you start talking to these insurance companies and these motor clubs they're gonna send you a rate sheet and it's gonna see like something insane 23 24 25 dollars you know you do not have to agree to their rates they will give you some gimmick saying oh you know, if you don't accept these rates, you're not going to get the volume and blah, blah, blah. They're just a salesman. They're trying to find somebody that will do their job or do the service that is needed for as cheap as possible. You do not have to accept those rates. Anything, you know, around $30, $35 is not bad for a motor club if you can have those rates and set up, you know, let's say $1.25 to $1.50 ish a mile working as a service vehicle, not a, you know, not a tow truck. That's not bad money. Now, on top of that, you know, you'll have, they'll try to sell you on stuff saying you won't get the volume. That's fine. When you get started, you're going to be the little man on the totem pole anyway, so you're not going to get the volume because you're not going to be the priority service contractor. You're going to get the crap that they either can't get to or don't want, which is going to be out of area. You know, I do suggest when you're doing that to accept as many calls as you can take, but don't let it, you know, don't miss those soccer games. Don't miss those birthday dinners. Don't miss any of that stuff because it's not worth it. It is not worth it. It's not worth, you know, making your family upset or making your family mad. At the end of the day, this is just a job. It can be a very rewarding job and you can make a lot of money doing this and you're, you know, your own boss, you know, you don't really have anybody to answer to, but you know, when the phone rings, but that is what I'll emphasize. Don't try to gain a customer or a few extra dollars and it causes havoc at your house and it doesn't and it causes other stresses don't do that don't do that it is worth it in the end i promise you the next thing that i will suggest in regards to towing there is several different kinds of ways to get into towing uh, same with um, your roadside assistance you need to be known facebook pages are free instagram is free any kind of social media for the most part is free. Another thing you need is a Google My Business page. That is a free link or a free page. You put your information, make sure that all of your social media and your Google page are linked together. That creates a bigger umbrella. It makes, it makes you look more verified, more authentic. I highly recommend that. A website, mm, 
not really as important when you're getting started as ways of, you know, Facebooks and social medias and more or less Google. You know, Yelp is another, for, well, Yelp wants to charge you in Bing, but having all that linked together is a huge help because it'll help you start at the top. Once you get your business page built, your Google business page, make sure that on a weekly basis you are putting content on your page. You know, take a variety of different, don't take the same picture over and over again with a different car or different this or different that. Make sure that it's a different type of picture. Make sure you're creating content. That will ultimately help you with what's called organic search engine optimization. I'm ranked two and three because I actually have two pages. I'm ranked two and three in my area, sometimes one and two, depending on the, the Google AdWords, which I'll get to in a second. I don't pay for marketing. I don't pay the OMG to marketing. I don't pay anything, anybody anything to market my company. I have done my stuff myself, and I have done my stuff for free, utilizing information that I'm telling you today. This right here, the, the what I'm telling you in this video is what other people charge thousands and hundreds and whatever dollars to give you. This is the same advice, but it, this is free. So please use it to benefit yourself and your business and your family and all that. Like I said, this is my first video. Uh, I want to give back. I want to use this information. So please bear with me. This is a first for me. I haven't done this before, um, but I want to help. I want to help those that are that was where I was when I started. Um, make sure that you do consistently put up content. Make sure that your information is getting out there. Make sure your name is be you know is recognized. Keep it simple. You know, make the name have something in it, you know, that just, it tells what you do. That way when people search, it pops up. You know, there's other things that you can search and, and learn about like, you know, good backlinks, things like that, but that's a whole different deal. In regards to towing, towing, there's several ways to make money. When you're getting started, it is difficult you can do the same thing and that's why I say it's probably smart to start in roadside assistance that way you learn how these companies work how they you know get you know they pay you things like that when it comes to towing you know there's several avenues you know you've got everything from police rotations you've got body shop work you've got mechanic shop work you know automotive type companies their work you can get contracts with bigger larger companies that have multiple trucks um, that all is kind of down the road once you get established the, the best way to get started in my opinion like I said is roadside assistance that way you can learn how the motor clubs work you can go ahead and get your Google business page going you can start that you know being seen in your market if you will um, advertising for that similar you know you can go around to the automotive shops and say hey you know I offer these services can I be of any assistance you can go to car lots you can go to the same type of people that are going to utilize you in towing and they're always going to ask you do you tow when it comes to towing towing can be very 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 expensive to get into depending on what your skill set is how mechanically inclined you are that's a whole different cup of tea I recommend you have an understanding of the truck you are running I, in, in the sense of how to fix things because you will have on a fairly regular basis even the new ones you will have problems you will have lights that need to be changed fluid leaks uh, hydraulic hoses is a huge thing you know busting hydraulic hoses um, you know just you name it you're gonna have it regular maintenance the whole nine yards Insurance is also significantly higher on a tow truck because we are in a high-risk industry, especially when you start towing cars. They're going to ask you how much experience you have. Um, if you haven't been in towing, I highly recommend you work for somebody else to see if it's something that you're interested in because this is kind of a lifestyle. Once you are bit, that's kind of what we do. We sling chains. We tow cars. That's, that's our hustle. I've done a lot of different businesses in my day. And this is what this is what I do I mean this is my thing this is this is what I'm this is my passion this is my calling you know I enjoy helping people with the skill set that I have and hopefully that's what this video will be but 
towing in essence, and hopefully I'm not rambling on, I'm trying to give a whole bunch of information quickly, um, but towing in essence can be a great business. Um, it is a very competitive business. So you need to figure out what your costs are, your operating cost. Um, you need to be registered. You need to make it legit. Um, I tell everybody, get you an LLC. I'm not a, don't, this is for entertainment purposes. I've seen this before. Um, get yourself an LLC, get yourself an escort, whatever your CPA recommends you. Get that established. Become legitimate. Start building that business credit because that business credit will help you a lot in the future. You also have a lot better chances of getting big lines of credit to buy equipment, to, to fix equipment, to do things that you want to do to grow. So I already, and they also don't want to deal with startups. So that's what I'm saying. If you got this idea now, even if it takes you another year or so to do, get that, get it going, get it rolling, get all that paperwork filed, become legitimate. Um, that way you you know when that time comes you'll be like oh yeah I've been in business for you know two years or a year or whatever and you don't look like a startup oh I started last week you know this business can be you know with towing you can do you can become a niche market you know you can haul equipment you can haul you know get on with some of these rental companies you can work for body shops you can get on police rotation all of it has its pros and cons you know, police rotation is 24-7, 365, no days off. When they call, you go. You have 30 to 45 minutes, depending on when you're in your area, like what area you're in to respond. You also have to have a storage lot. You have to have other employees. I tell everybody to wait till we go down that road. Focus on building retail customers. Retail customers always pay the most money. So you can do three, four, five retail tows a day once you get established, or you can do eight, nine, ten motor clubs or you know discounted shop cars, anything like that. You need a little bit of all of it to balance out. That's what people don't tell you. You know they make fun of Copart, they make fun of IA, they make fun of motor clubs. That's the kind of stuff that will get you going. That's the kind of stuff that'll help you build your business. You'll start figuring out you know what works, what doesn't, what you need to charge. In regards to trucks, buy the nicest thing that you can afford with your current income. If you don't have current income and you're looking for a job or you need a job, don't start this right now. You need consistent income to get the ball rolling. You need because everything costs money. It's 2022, everything costs money. Diesel's through the roof. Everything is outrageously expensive, but it's still a good business. It will always be a good business because to me, people just get dumber and dumber. What that means, they're gonna get in more and more accidents. You should see the amount of accidents I deal with every day because people don't know how to yield. They don't know how to turn. They don't know who has the right of way. I mean, just simple stuff. Or they're just not paying attention and they run into stuff. I mean, I had a lady that wouldn't, didn't wanna go through a gate the other day delivering flowers and guess what? She ended up sideways in a ditch. That was a quick 250. I mean, stupidity pays. I hate to say it, and I hate it, I hate it for customers, but dumb people pay the bills. So, you know, with all that being said, you know, when it comes to tow trucks, figure out what you can afford. Figure out what, if you have a skill set and you're familiar with a type of vehicle, stick to it. Um, there's some, there's no real one truck is better than another truck. You know, I tell people, you know, if you are getting started, that if you have no experience a flatbed can do more for you in the sense you can haul more than just cars if you are getting started but you do have some experience i started with an f-350 it was a pickup truck i was telling you about a repo truck i started with an f-350 that had what's called a sneaker lift on the back of it it was a lift a wheel lift that can be added to a regular pickup truck and i had a set of dollies and i could tow whatever with it that takes a little more skill and experience, but a, a regular truck is easy to buy or easier to buy um, than a commercial vehicle because it's not deemed a commercial vehicle from the manufacturer. Um, and it allowed me to get started. Now, I mean, there's, you know, you name it, you know, we've got it. But it's one of my, heck, I'm trying to find more trucks now, but the problem is you can't find them, that's just me ranting, but you know, there's ways to get started in this business and please feel free to ask questions below. I mean, I'm here, 
I would love to make a course and you know sell it for X number of dollars because I mean I've, I've, I've been through the ringer I've learned the lessons hard way um, I've been homeless once um, I mean no running water at times I mean it's I've I, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into, into this because I believed in it. And that's what you've got to do, too. A little bit of a kind of motivational thing. you got to believe in yourself. People are going to naysay. They're going to say, oh, that's stupid. Oh, you can't do it. Yes, you can. If you really want to do it, be stubborn. Be an ass. Just be blunt. I mean, believe in yourself. In anything you do, know that you can do it. But never think that you're the best at something. Always be willing to learn and always take advice when it's given. Just take it with a grain of salt because not everybody's advice is there to actually help you you know everybody's criticism a lot of times you know people's criticism they they can't do something so they want to teach or they want to tell you that you can't do something just because they can't you know there's a lot of employees in this world and there's a lot of people that are meant to be employees and that's there's nothing wrong with that it is a big step to be a business owner and it is a really big step in the towing world because this is not a normal type of business this is a service related business that requires a skill set and it requires a certain kind of mindset but it is doable don't try to be the cheapest I will say that from the start do not ever try to be the cheapest and don't try to undercut people just to try to get work because guess what if you get the work because you're cheap you're always going to have problems. You're always going to have the problem people that don't want to pay or make excuses. Or you're going to have the people that the next guy that comes around and he's cheaper than you are, guess who's going to get the work? Build that reputation. Build that quality of service. And be there for those people because that is what builds your brand. Create your brand and build that brand with a good following, good support, good people. And you can, I mean, it's possible. It just does take time. It's not going to happen overnight. Unless you got a ton of money and you go buy a company out, I mean, that's good luck to you. You know, that's, there's other problems with that too. I've been there. Um, but anyways, I just, I hope this gives some information to people. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to comment below. Um, be, please be nice on the criticism. I'm, I, this, like I said, this is my first video. It's not perfect. Um, it's not fancy, but it's raw, real, real information. Um, and it's what I needed to hear when I got started. And it was the good, you know, foundation that I needed so that I could really do something and, and save about four years of headaches is what this video would have given back to me. So appreciate it. I mean, you know, I, I know everybody else says to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to do this, but if you have any questions or anything specific that I can do for you, let me know. I'd be glad to help. But, you know, stay hustling. Go out there and make some money. It's out there. The money's on the road. Go get it.